Hey, welcome back to Cool Toys. I'm Scott. Today we're going to talk about the Alexa Amazon Dot again. But we got a better solution for some things. And we're going to talk about our ABUS whole house system. In the interim, one of the things I forgot as a quick fix for home studios and home recording is to mount a piece of that foam on a piece of foam board. Very simple solution, but now I have a rigid piece that I can move in and I can move it around the room wherever I find an echo problem. It's a great solution to set up. They actually mate together and they store very easily. So simple solution, something I forgot to mention last time. Today, a bus system, still loving it. Four rooms, music, walk out, my favorite, the garage, punch a button and we can shoot the episodes about the Jeep, which coming up, I'm gonna put in a new grill. Hopefully you're a Jeep and a car guy too. The dot. It clips and it got to the point where we just couldn't take it anymore. So we found a solution. We talked a little bit about it. It's the iPhone. Now, before we go compare these two, let's go out and take a listen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about when the Echo Dot says, I don't understand what you're saying. That's exactly how the music goes. When it clips, it shuts off. It comes from a very inexpensive amplifier, probably 12 cents that could have been upgraded, but I don't think Amazon really wants us distributing this music all around the house. And I don't think Apple expected that we would with our iPhones. So the equalizer in here, kicking up the bass a little bit, the house sounds fantastic. So let's go take a listen and let you be the judge. So there you have it, sound clipping. The answer, simply turn it off. You can turn the volume way down on the Echo Dot, but you just lose the power of the A-Bus system. And this little thing is really cool. So we hooked up the iPhone, it sounds terrific. Let's go back in the studio and talk about the rest of it. So there you see it, the Amazon Echo Dot. A little disappointing that they use such a cheap amplifier when they have such a neat product in such a small package. Would I pay five bucks more so I didn't have to hook up my iPhone? Probably. Would you? I don't know, let Jeff Bezos know. Overall, this was a really cool little choice, multi-source, is a new feature that they didn't used to have. If you want to know more about the A-Bus, check out the article in Electronic House Magazine. Otherwise, that's it for now. I hope to see you next time. Until then, be cool.